Testimony alone is not and will not be enough to protect us in the latter-day storm of darkness and evil in which we are living. Testimony is important and necessary, but not sufficient to provide the spiritual strength and protection we need. The essence of the gospel of Jesus Christ entails a fundamental and permanent change in our very nature, made possible through the Savior's atonement. True conversion brings a change in one's beliefs, heart, and life to accept and conform to the will of God and includes a conscious commitment to become a disciple of Christ. Knowing by the power of the Holy Ghost that Jesus is the Christ is important and necessary. But earnestly coming unto Him and giving our whole souls as an offering requires much more than merely knowing. Conversion requires all of our heart, all of our might, and all of our mind and strength. For most of us, conversion is an ongoing process and not a one-time event that results from a powerful or dramatic experience. Line upon line and precept upon precept, gradually and almost imperceptibly, our motives, our thoughts, our words, and our deeds become aligned with the will of God. Conversion unto the Lord requires both persistence and patience. I now want to use one of many possible interpretations of the parable of the ten virgins to highlight the relationship between testimony and conversion. Ten virgins, five who were wise and five who were foolish, took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Please think of the lamps used by the virgins as the lamp of testimony. The foolish virgins took their lamps of testimony but took no oil with them. Consider the oil to be the oil of conversion. But the wise took oil of conversion in their vessels with their lamps of testimony. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps of testimony. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, even the oil of conversion, for our lamps of testimony are weak and are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. But go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. Were the five wise virgins selfish and unwilling to share? Or were they indicating correctly that the oil of conversion cannot be borrowed? Can the spiritual strength that results from consistent obedience to the commandments be given to another person? Can the knowledge obtained through diligent study and pondering of the scriptures be conveyed to one who is in need? Or can the peace the gospel brings to a faithful Latter-day Saint be transferred to an individual experiencing adversity or great challenge? The answer to each of these questions is no. As the wise virgins emphasize properly, each of us must buy for ourselves. These inspired women were not describing a business transaction. Rather, they were emphasizing our individual responsibility to keep our lamp of testimony burning and to obtain an ample supply of the oil of conversion. This precious oil is acquired one drop at a time, line upon line and precept upon precept, patiently and persistently. No shortcut is available. No last-minute flurry of preparation is possible. Wherefore, be faithful, praying always, having your lamps trimmed and burning and oil with you, that you may be ready at the coming of the Bridegroom.